Hello, and welcome to the show. We are back here on GTA 5 with another race. Yes, we go racing with the Cold Descent. It's basically a, what, Maybach? Pretty much big luxury limo. And that's what we're going to be going racing with. The most sensible of race cars. I don't quite know what we're doing over here. Uh, by the looks of it being quite neat. What we got? This is like the Maze Runner we have going on. I spy Stinty down there. Ooh, do we have a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have like an infield, so we have like a go-kart, like an infield go-kart track. Um, oh, apparently we're off and underway. Oh, are we going to do the great oval race before the main race starts? I feel like we've kind of... I don't quite know what we're up to here, but this is what we're doing. Oh, we've got to do, we've got to do a lap around here before the main race begins. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Oh, it's 40-40 over Cognoscenti time, by the looks of it. Uh, <laughs> It's a unique start to a race. Let, ne let it never be said that we don't find new things to do. Whoop! Team Orange! Assistance! I might have fallen over. Oh, I might have got a big punt. I'll tell you what, if I'd exploded there, that would have been good. Uh, stop spinning around on your roof, you lunatic! Uh, well, we've started the race as we mean to go on, upside down and out of control. Uh, there we go. We've pinged it down. We are good to go. We're in 14th place. If ever there was a way for us to start a race. That's it, apparently. <laughs> oh, amazing stuff. Uh, I thought I was being... I always managed to get through that as well, I would point out. We always managed to get that one right. We just got a little bit unlucky. Christ, this thing leans a lot more than I realised it would. This goes a long, long way up on the two wheels. That's quite something, I have to say. Uh, right. It's a poor start, but we can recover. We have slipstream, we have catch-up on as ever with these races. It means we can prat around at the start and we still have a fun race. It means we can do that and still, you know, have a battle, etc. Uh, the lead is not actually too far. We've just got a big line of limos going on as a spin for a red car to the inside. Uh, we're going to cut back underneath the pink machine and I think we will get the position there. Uh, left a nice big gap on the inside that we could fire through. We'll get the draft on the exit. In fact, I think I might have hit the wall. Uh, there's something was slow on the exit of that corner. Um... There's a lot of cars jostling for position down towards turn one. I don't really want to make it three wide. Two wide is okay. Uh, for a quarter, three wide, you start getting dicey. Uh, you can do it, but maybe not at high speeds on second lap of the race. Uh, it does look questionably grim going on in terms of the weather. Um, are we going to see some rain? Probably not, but you never know with this. Uh, we might try to sneak alongside the uh, green machine here if it's all possible. Oh, it got a big, like, green machine got a big oversteer moment. Uh, <laughs> that's the downside of being on the uh, outside of the corner there. Christ. Nothing I could have done about it. I think they could have done about it, really. I think they're actually going to wait oh, wait for me on that one. Absolutely not intentional, that. They just lost the back end of the car. Ends up firing me towards the wall. Um, you can't see... You know, once, once the back end's gone, the only thing you can do is try and save it. Uh, so... Yeah, it's, just, that's the, it's always the danger of being on the outside. Of course, if something goes wrong to the car inside of you, well, that can have a pretty serious effect on you. I almost clunk... <laughs> so nearly clunk that inside metal uh, post, that sort of corner marker, if you will. I've got no... I've actually got no slipstream at all going. I just decided to... You know what? Screw you in particular. It doesn't matter too much. I mean, even if I had, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. There's so many cars alongside here that... Yeah, what exactly can I do around this one? Uh, it's two and three wide up ahead. Danger Man, big two-wheeled moment. Sadly, I didn't quite have the line on the exit there to really capitalise and, and make a pass stick. This is a tough track to overtake on. I will say that much. There's been some shenanigans up ahead. Lots of shenanigans going on all around us here. We try to hold on for dear life. Uh, we're all good. We're all good. It's busy. It's very busy through there, but... We have made it out the other side with only a little bit of time. Lost. Oh, we had a run. Don't think Chris quite realised we had a run on the outside. It would be very easy to end up turning that car if it kept moving or if I'd been even a slight bit further along. Oh, uh, Longbow was having a little bit of a look to the inside, but uh, just misjudged it a smidge. This is a big trailer car. I mean, we've got... Essentially, the entire pack is in one line here. Uh, the entire pack from the leader all the way down to... Well, I mean, 14th place, I think. Um... Yeah, pretty much uh, in this group. That's asking for trouble. We've got a really good run towards turn one, but we're not going to be... I mean, we could have fired it out the inside, but 
we was very late in the corner we were catching there. And I don't really I don't really want to fall off the back end of this group if we can help it. Uh, we really don't want to fall too far back. Uh, we're going to get past Brazen, who got a little bit unlucky, got shuffled out of there. There's a purple car out wide. However, we'll keep it recovered. Oh, the bump on the inside. We once again find ourselves... That outside there has not been kind to us, but we've also not had anywhere else to go for a lot of this. Oh, there's so many cars on the bridge. That's a Brazen in a lot of trouble up against the wall. Oh, there's bigger crashes going on here. We've got through all of that. I might have given a little bit of assistance here to Stevie. We'll straighten that one up because we gave all of them a bump draft momentum into that crash. Uh, hello, Dangerman. <laughs> slid into us. This is a manic race going on right now. This is an absolutely manic race. I think that might also be a first for me in that I managed to spin two cars with one bump and then straighten up two cars with one bump. And while they lost a place to Blakey, they didn't actually lose all that much overall. Um, so there we go. Stevie's got no draft at all. We've got a load off Ewan. Uh, we've got more draft off Ewan being behind than Stevie did like being the car behind. I don't quite know how the hell that physics draft works, but apparently it does. Um, that is going to be a position for us. Now our little, our little bumps have dropped us a little back. It's only a, a bit further back than we were before. It's fine. Stevie's actually going to get a really good run through there. Might not quite get it on the exit because I've still got the draft from Ewan. That was dicey. I knew that was risky when we did it. Uh, we're on the outside again through here. This time we actually make a pass stick there. That's good news for me. Unfortunately, I've got no one to slip stream off of. Gliska was up over the wall. Up over on the barrier, there's a grey car has gone over the top of Blakey. Uh, oh, that's a big, big dive for the purple car that does pull it up in time. Just. <laughs> just gets it. just a bag. It's kind of a bit of a case if we got cars stuck together uh, in, in all of that. Now they go dove to the inside just as I was, uh, just caught the sort of front and rears got caught and then neither of us could steer anything. Uh, this is still a big group for the lead. Still a really, really big group for the lead now. Uh, we're trying to get the draft off of Danger Man's car, which hasn't really worked here. Uh, I mean, we're ninth at the moment, and we can definitely see the fight for the lead. Uh, we're going to just sort of... We're going we're gonna to be across the inside curb a little bit. Not too much, but it was a little bit across there. Just looking for a bit of space. Uh, oh! Great car! Huge two at the moment. Almost fell over. Everyone scatters having to try and avoid that. Bloody hell, I'll tell you what. Uh, that is very lucky it didn't actually fall over and none of the rest of us actually got collected by it. Uh, we're going to be around the outside of you and this time we make that pass properly stick. Uh, we get a good run here but I'm not going to go too well. We've already seen enough cars have issues on the exit there uh, that I do not want to be involved with trying to fit two or three cars wide in a place where one car on its own has had some troubles. Again, bide your time. Don't do anything rash at this stage of the race. We've still got a few laps, and we've still got a few laps to make progress forward. Not many laps if we have a big crash. It's not recovery time, but there is a chance to uh, to make some progress forward. Uh, we are going to get this position now. We're in the draft of Gliska's car. Um, Ewan has a really good run, but had nowhere to go with it. We completely box them in as we move up into a third position. Here comes Stevie, possibly. Someone to the inside. One of the purple cars. Can't get that move to stick, though. Uh, Will Fuller's hyper, sorry, was driving the purple car there. Can't get that move to stick. We'll have to fall back. I don't know kind of where they fell back to in this little bit. Bloody hell. You make one little mistake in this group, and you're going to lose four positions. That's how close it is. Uh, I want to try and leave that group behind and go after the leaders, if at all possible. Uh, we get a little slide, actually, through there. Not as big as we've seen some cars getting. Gliska gets a good run. Gliska gets a good run, but in a really awkward place, like... You can't really do too much with that run. Uh, we give Gliska plenty of space through there, because we've seen how much trouble we can get on the outside. Uh, we actually run a bit deep through here. This is not looking good for me, because we're going to be slow through the next corner. Gliska's on two wheels. <laughs> that was not the line you wanted, was it? <laughs> that's, that's absolutely not the line that was going for. Um, I can almost guarantee that. Uh, it is a line they got, whether they wanted it or not, and now no one's got any slipstream at all. We're all going to be way too close together for any sort of draft, and the leaders are loving this. This is great news for the leaders. Actually, Blakey gets a really good run, can't do anything with it, just has to push Gliska, uh, who does now move across in front of us. Um, but no, we're all so close, no one's getting a draft whatsoever here. Uh, but that's, I say that's fine, you know, that's how it's going to be on this lap. We're going to have to try and regroup. Uh, at least we were all in a similar boat. It wasn't just one car being dropped. Still not quite got that corner right. I keep being slow on the exit. Uh, which is a problem. Blakey didn't want to have a go at the inside there. 
it's a, a very, very iffy gap that you fire the car into if you want to go for that one. Uh, so uh, kind of understandable, really. Uh, Gliss is going to want to defend. I don't really want to be side by side here, just in case there's an understeer moment going on. We've already seen a lot of trouble uh, occurring. I just want to fall back into line, I think. Uh, through here, we're going to... So oh, Gliss gets a big oversteer moment. That will move me up a position. It does. Have we got one more lap after this? I believe we do. I believe... I believe we do here. That's... Uh, Oh no, no, this is the final lap of the race. This is the final lap of the race, so we have one more time around. Oh no, are we going to lose third in this? I think we are. Yeah, Gliska gets third. We are going to have to settle for that fourth position. That was a good, that was a good race. Uh, I will say that much. That was a, uh, that was a bloody good race. Didn't quite get the podium spot in the end. I thought we, I did think we had another uh, lap to go. My bad on that one. Fastest lap, that would go to Stinty down in 12th place, a 106-0. We were stuck in all sorts of battles, but we had a lot of fun along the way as Brazen goes for a roll and a tumble. Obviously, don't go wrong for the yellow car. End up uh, <laughs> quite as far back. It's a good race. So, for our second race around here, we have got a muscle car. Having had oversteer issues with the luxury limo, I don't know what the hell we're going to see with this one. Probably something. I can't remember how these drive. It's been so long since I've driven the Ellie. Uh, there might be some weird handling characteristics that we've completely forgotten about it. I don't know. Uh, we're going to find out fairly quickly, I suspect, as we're three wide immediately at the start of this race. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> There's a gap where, well, sometimes you're not going to quite have enough space for you. Well, you're going to have to back out of it, basically, which is what we did. Uh, managed to do it without spinning anybody, so that's something. Don't know whether these vehicles are going to be okay with a push. Uh, we haven't really tried. Oh, I wonder if. So that corner through there, we've seen some oversteer issues. I wonder if there's a tiny little bit of foliage that sticks through the ground, and I wonder whether that... Uh, we know what the bushes are like in GTA 5 for screwing up car handling. I wonder if that's what's catching them and sending them sideways. I would experiment, but I don't want to spin. So I don't really want the oversteer moment and risk spinning in front of the pack. So we'll have to see. We'll have to keep an eye on it. We'll have to deliberately take a wider line and see what sort of oversteer is. Oh, Gliss got really unlucky. Pinged off the inside wall. Did the smallest of hits. The problem is, it actually caused mayhem back there. You ping off that wall in front of the entire pack and someone's going to put you around. Uh, go. Okay, bump drafting in this. Very possible. Five wide into turn one. Possible, not advisable. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that advice for free. Uh, we're still three wide, actually. These are pretty damn good handling. I'll give them that. I was expecting them to be a lot slidier than they are. They've actually got a lot of... The, you can get them to oversteer, but they got way more grip than I was expecting them to. Way, way more grip than I thought we were going to have with these, which is cool. Uh, I don't actually want to be on this tight line because I'm worried about that. Yeah, okay, I think there, there is definitely a little bit of foliage that sticks through the ground we don't want to hit. Um, oh, okay, maybe not that much of a push. Uh, <laughs> oh... It's got a little bit wrong. I don't even know where Chris ended up in that one. Uh, <laughs> right. You can kind of push sometimes, I think, is what we've learned in this one. You can kind of push a little bit, uh, but not a lot bit. Uh, I see you know, cars falling every which way off the map. I don't actually quite know. Uh, some seconds back. As long as they're back in the train, it'll be all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's one of those weird things. It's one of those weird things where you can kind of push, but it's not going to be consistent. You'd probably do it on a run to a finish line if you had no other option, but probably not a good idea to do it through the race. Some cars will get away with it, some cars you won't, basically. We're going to have a dive at the inside. That will work. Uh, we will be through on that one, and we take the lead of the race. It won't last, though. This is where that group gets a really, really big slipstream pull. So that group is going to have a lot of momentum coming through this section on me. Although they have actually all fought one another, so they're a bit further back. They're, actually, I'm kind of okay with that. They'll catch me maybe not on the... Oh, no, they are going to catch me on the bridge. We're going to give them space. I don't want to. Don't want them going out wide. Oh, there was a... I saw that. There was a shunt on the outside of for some of the cars. It's busy, this one. It's really, really, really busy. Uh, <laughs> come on, then. Come on then, Ellie, we can do this. So, I mean, this is kind of important important information. It's always important to know what can we do in terms of a slipstream run to the line. We come out of that final corner in this 
scenario. Are we close enough? Are we good enough? Which we would uh, be to take the victory. So there is good. Although this is only useful information in this two-car battle. Three, four cars, you start getting all sorts of different things. I did see something just slam into the wall. Don't quite know what went on there. Uh, can I duck underneath through here? Oh, yes, I can, but we had a really big twitch on the curb. Really, really big twitch. The wheel, like, dove off the edge of the curb and twisted the car sideways. So that's, uh, that's fun. Oh, we ran quite wide through there. We're going to have to give some space, which is, you know, we will. Liam's going to try and find the middle through all of that, and it's a brave place to put your car. It's asking for trouble, but Liam does find it, and no contact is made. Now, these things have got so much grip, they're actually not that difficult to place where you want them to be, which is always nice. They've got a lot of grip. They've got a lot of grip. I don't think they're amazingly fast down the straights, but they have got crazy, crazy levels of grip through these corners, which works on this kind of track. Much nicer on this kind of track. Uh, we're starting to bring the whole group back together again. Uh, we're, st we're starting to bring everybody back into one long line, as we saw a little bit with the Cognoscentes. Uh, we know this is unlikely to last. This gets a really good run to the inside on the exit there. Uh, but this is where we see the whole what position you're in when there's a bigger number of cars is all completely different because me from third had the best run there this time out because we were just far enough back. But if you're closer, you're, it's, there's so many things to contemplate if you're going to try and fight that battle. You, ideally, you want to be in the lead far enough away that no one can get you in the slipstream, but that's not always the easiest thing in the world to be doing. It's going to be around the outside of us here. Oh, <laughs> I don't like being too wide through that corner. I definitely don't like being too wide or oh, three wide through there. Uh, Liam did back out in the end of that. There's a dangerous, dangerous place trying to go three wide. So a wise thing to uh, not be fighting that one. I'm stuck here with nowhere to go. Uh, Liam gets it. Liam gets a really sneaky run all the way to the inside. Squeezes Scotty a little bit uh, to uh, to the inside. They all get away with it cleanly though. We're falling to the back of this group. Uh, just by virtue of we got stuck behind Gliska, we couldn't really do anything with the draft because there were cars everywhere. Uh, oh, Ewan gives a little helping hand through the final corner. Uh, what are we going to see here in terms of a slipstream pull towards the line? I think we'd be too far back here. Yeah, everyone's got a draft off Scotty. In fact, Scotty's far enough away this time that I think would actually win that battle, which is fascinating stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's fascinating stuff. It's three wide into turn one. Grey car opting, probably sensibly, just jump across the inside and doesn't gain an advantage, just does it to stay out of trouble, basically. You don't want to try and fit too many cars into one corner and have a big old accident. Again, not at this point in the race, you don't want at any point in the race, let's be honest. Oh, we gave a little tag to the uh, to the blue car. We're now around the outside of Scotty again. That's okay. We've got a little gap back to those behind. I've got no draft. I think Scotty's got a better run through all of this. They're banging doors over the lead. Liam's up onto two wheels. No space for any anything to go on here. It's already three wide. You're just going to have to lift and sit in line. Uh, can I look around? Nope. Not got anything there. Brazen's turned up. And of course, the more we're fighting, the more we're going to bring everyone back. You can see on the mini-map, actually, the big line of cars that is now heading towards us. Uh, Brazen is on the inside. Probably won't have any slipstream, though, on the exit here. That's what I'm kind of counting on, if at all possible. Scotty's trying to get the toe of somebody. Here we go. We've got a pull now up towards the lead again. Liam's lost all the positions, uh, as is what happens with the catch-up if you don't quite get it, or if you get a little bit unlucky, don't quite have time to start uh, using the toe uh, back on the cars that just passed you. Uh, Brazen's alongside. There's about three more cars lining up behind. In fact, there is three more cars lining up behind, so this is a big chunk of vehicles now, all in one place. That was way too many cars. I don't quite know where they expected me to go, and I've still not been put back down, and we're round we head. Oh, that was a bad rejoin for me. Uh, there's... Oh, I should have probably waited on that one. Uh, I don't know what what the thinking was. I mean... Yeah, that wedge was always going to close. I just didn't think they were going to try and fit three cars into that corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not the best one for me, unfortunately. I mean, could I give it a little bit more space? Yes, if I'd known that was what the plan was going to be. Absolutely, I would have done. But in the split second that you have to make a decision, I just wasn't expecting to find that many cars. Uh, alongside, really. Oh, there's a green car. Also in an unfortunate place. Probably got a nick on the way into the hairpin, and that's all it takes to end up facing, well, left in a right-hander, pretty much. We got a great toe down here. In fact, Blakey and the purple car have stalled out because neither of them got a toe off each other. So they lost out uh, big time through all of this. If we can do this right, there's a chance. There always is. Mm. 
two laps is not long, but if we can do it right, there is a chance. Because uh, what we can do is you can slingshot. Basically, you'll, you'll toe up to the back of one group, launch past, then toe up to the back of the next. That is possible, but I think there's a too bigger a gap between the two groups here. Oh, and that's going to kill it. <laughs> Nothing I could have done about that one. Uh, I, I saw it spinning, I just didn't know where it was going to go. I had to guesswork where it was going to head, and it just rolled further back than I thought it was. I think... Well, either A, it was just naturally rolling that way, or B, the instinct is when your car's spinning, you grab the brakes to try and stop it. But of course, in GTA 5, what happens if you spin and you end up pointing backwards, the game just slams it in reverse. It's an instinct that, that you will have from racing, is just to grab the brakes, because of course you want the car to stop. But uh, yeah, that's G, that might have been... It might have just been rolling backwards from the spin anyway. Sometimes the momentum just takes you that way. Either way, not much they could have done about it. Certainly very little I could have done. Uh, unless I could predict the future and knew it was going to roll all the way back and could have gone, tried to go onto the inside. Uh, this is about four wide for turn one. Uh, we're going to follow that jump across the inside. I mean, we we'll climb back to eighth uh, in this. If we can keep this up, that would be golden. Uh, we've got to try not get slipstream past. We've got to try to avoid chaos for the cars ahead, if at all possible. There's a little bit of an oversteery moment for the purple car. Uh, we're around the outside through there and we do get the pass completed can I get a draft off Team Orange it would be lovely if we could so I don't have to worry about anyone from approaching from behind not really not really far enough away uh, here we go fire the car into these corners are we going to be close enough for a slipstream pass on Blakey towards the finish line have we got any threat from behind not really here it's going to be me versus the other orange car uh, oh, there's been chaos up ahead. There has been a big mayhem. Actually, the other orange car now is going to get drafted with other people I didn't expect to have to deal with. We're going to get sixth, just not quite the way we thought it was going to end up. <laughs> there was something. That was quite something. We got a little bit unlucky uh, in, in that we did not quite get the luck we, we would have liked. 102 in the end. The only car in the 102s would give me the fastest lap of the race. Yeah, desperately unlucky with... Uh, a little bit of, of contacts in that one, and one, one of the purple cards got into trouble. Just <laughs> it was the wrong place, the wrong time for me. However, very, very good fun race, nevertheless. Some great action, fantastic circuit as well. A big thank you to uh, to Scotty for building this one. Of course, a big thank you to all of you for watching this video as well. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, that though is going to be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.